hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you i will pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again my beautiful people yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country We've got a breaking one, breaking, breaking news. Abuja court dismisses Obaseki's motion on forged certificate. We know the battle that has been on ground and um, leading to um, even um, Obaseki being uh, um, the governor of the state, winning the governorship election, September 19th governorship election. All the pre-election cases that the All Progressive Congress um, have against him. You know, um, it took a while for the All Progressive Congress candidate, um, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, to actually accept uh, defeat and um, that he wasn't going to go to court because in the initial stage, he said he's not accepting the result, the outcome of the Edo State Governorship election, and he was definitely going to go to court. But after a while, maybe pressure from the All Progressive Congress, from other APC governors and President Mohamed Buhari, he decided to concede defeat and um, stated that um, he will not go to court regarding the decision of um, INEC. However, he's going to carry on with um, pre-election cases, every um, pre-election um, suit that has been on ground. We know that um, there has been some um, suit against Governor Gordon Obaseki on um, certificate forgery. This one is quite shocking and surprising because we know the University of Ibadan has on different occasions confirmed that Obaseki graduated from their university, from the University of Ibadan, and gave details and everything, but um, he's still being dragged to court just after, uh, um, even after his uh, um, inauguration, everything going on. We'll find out all the details right now. The court has uh, dismissed um, Obaseki's motion on the on the case that um, everything the case is still going to carry on but uh, i don't think there's anything to worry if obaseki actually graduated from that university there's not nothing much to worry about the people of edo state um, willingly voted him in based on um, his developmental stride from his first tenure and they are really really right behind him to support him all the way through this one is a breaking one it's a surprising one we don't know how this is going to hit the governor We'll bring you all of the details shortly but before we do my people please guys don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you once again yes let's get into the news now and grab all of the details a federal high court in abuja today wednesday has dismissed the people's democratic party pdp and Edo state governor gordon obaseki's motion challenging his alleged forged certificate suit the street journal has learned Recall that last month, the same court had adjourned the hearing of the alleged certificate forgery suit filed by the All Progressive Congress APC against him from November 16 to November 18, which was subsequently adjourned again. The adjournment followed the submission by counsel to Obaseki, Mr. Ken Mosia, that all pending motions relating to the pleadings must first be resolved before going into the substantive matter. Mosia specifically asked the court to allow him move his motion, challenging the competence of the reply filed by APC to the defense in the matter. However, lawyer to the APC, Mr. Akin Olujumi, objected to the position of the governor's counsel on the pending motions. He prayed the court to step down all the pending applications and allow him proceed with the substantive matter by calling his witnesses who were in court. In a short ruling before adjourning the suit, Justice Mohammed held that the motion of Governor Obaseki challenging the competence of APC's reply to his defense was fundamental because it's related to the pleadings and has to be resolved first. The plaintiffs, APC, prayed the court for an order disqualifying Obaseki from contesting the September 19th governorship election in Edo State on the grounds that he supplied false information on oath to INEC, an act said to be contrary to section 31 of 5 and 6 of the Electoral Act 2010. They specifically accused the governor of forging his university certificate presented to INEC in aid of his qualification for the governorship election in Edo State. 
They also claimed that there are discrepancies in the subject Obaseki claimed he passed in his West African Examination Council WAEC exam and that in his testimonial. Obaseki contested the September 19th governorship election on the platform of the People's Democratic Party PDP, where he moved to after the ruling APC disqualified him from seeking a second term as governor of the state. The governor secured 307,955 of the total votes, 84,336 more votes than his closest rival, Ize Iyamu, who got 223,619 votes. This is, uh, uh, this is really, um, it's really serious. So Obaseki has been sworn in. We know his swearing in ceremony took place um, on the 12th of November. And he, um, this case has been lingering. It was at John 1st uh, to um, November 18th. And right now, just today, the court has decided to... Um, Obaseki put a motion to challenge um, um, APC's, uh, uh, um, all the suits that APCs are, have laid against him regarding this certificate forgery. But it looks like um, the Abuja High Court, they've decided not to uh, um, give that motion a go ahead. So they've dismissed Obaseki's motion on the forged certificate that the court is still going to hear the case and everything um, will be done as it ought to be done. It's quite surprising that... Um, even after the University of Ibadan has confirmed all that they need to confirm, APC is still not ready to let go. Most probably, they feel like um, they can really move Obaseki away from um, Osadebe Avenue. We'll see how all of this plays out. Um, um, is uh, is Iyamu, who lost the governorship election, stated very well that he's going to pursue every um, pre-election suit. And this is one of them, this certificate forgery. It's one of them that Obaseki lied on oath. It's quite surprising, guys. I really don't understand what is going on because even INEC, at that time where it was really hot, INEC um, gave all of the eligibility, um, what makes someone eligible for contesting as a governorship candidate. And Obaseki looks like he ticked all the boxes. So I really don't understand what is going on. But anyway, guys, uh, we'll keep you updated as soon as we get more update. The court has just um, dismissed Obaseki's motion on this um, forged certificate. Thank you for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.